When you're ready to start working on a mouth, um, oftentimes you'll have this sort of separation here. And all that is, is it's just sculpted. And then you've got these sort of the, where the opening is. So if this was a dog's mouth, um, you would look at it and think, okay, well, he's got some cheeks. So I'm gonna take this plastic clay and I'm gonna slip and score where his cheeks would be. And then I'm just blending it out so that at some point it just runs into the whole contour of the face that you've already sculpted. The benefit of using plastic clay for this process uh, is making sure, is being able to sculpt it while it's on your piece here. Now the goal is to create this sort of overhang. With your mouth, you're gonna have still that slight indent and then you will have these sort of overlapping mouth cheek things here. And the key with any mouth is that you've got a top and a bottom and they need to be sculpted. So the top is sculpted so that it overhangs now this area underneath. And this area right here is the perfect spot for me to put my bottom lip. Okay, so you've got your bottom lip here and really all that is is it's a coil that you're slipping and scoring right down below. And you wanna keep this sort of separation here between the top and the bottom lip because they are always separated and the bottom lip is almost always lower or at less of a depth than the top lip. So if I have it at the same depth, I can start to kind of smudge it down or I can carve it out, up to you. But you want the top lip always overlapping the bottom and you still wanna keep that separation between the two until the jaw ends and they meet. 